वेलकम बैक टू द पार्ट डी ऑफ लेक्चर ट्वेल्व इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू सम हैंड्स ऑन सो लेट मी स्टार्ट माय आर इन दिस सो वी विल स्टिल विल वर्क विद द आईरीज डेटा सेट so here i'm going to first create a null plot so i will just first see how the you know uh, how the data looks like so i'm going to see the on the x axis i'm going to put sepal length on the y axis i'm going to put sepal width so i'm going to rename the species there are three kind of species are there and their species color i'm going to assign blue red and brown and in the species color i'm also giving the name setosa got blue versicolor got red and virginica got brown and then i'm saying that legend put the legend on the top right so the setosa blue versicolor red virginica got brown you can try some other other color no problem now i'm calling uh, mvt norm package if you don't have the package please install by here you can go to the package then install and write this thing mvt norm make sure your depend install dependency is corrected and then install that will work i am cancelling it because i already have it here setting a seed here this function one line function will help us to draw a ellipse uh, or the contours of the of the uh, gaussian distribution so x not is the point for it's sort of the 6.2 and 4 is the point i'm we are going to use as a test point and then i'm going to create a f not with the name species so f not is going to be my uh likelihood or function so i is in species so there are three species for each species i'm going to work with from the id's data set from the id's data set what i'm going to do whenever id species equal to the species name then you just take the sepal length and sepal width that will be the x okay and then you compute the covariance matrix of these two column and the mean of these two column now given this mean and this covariance matrix you simulate 1000 points and compute the center of the point and the covariance of the of those points okay and then you calculate the sigma inverse so that gives you a then you use this mu and sigma to calculate the in call that multivariate normal density put it in the multi mv norm is the density of the multivariate normal and plug it in this is the likelihood value of the multivariate density for x not x not point x not is the point at which we want to estimate so what is the likelihood for that point then for n equal to 100 we creating x axis y axis and we are saying that okay please draw in this line we are two three lines we are drawing the contour for that particular species so if let me just run this loop so uh here is the viewer uh, plots so here is the plots okay. 
so let me just run the coin so these are the three points and three uh, and then here is the test point here is the test point you see this is the test point now I'm going to give equal prior probability I'm not saying so prior probability for this point belong to Setosa, Versicolor or Virginica is equal I'm not giving any special uh, special additional preference to any point so the name prior of the now I just add the names also and then I'm just computing the base probability okay and rounding off the base probability up to the three decimal pluses so here so that means base probability is 0.861 this point belongs to setosa with 80 percent probability to versicolor with 0.2.9 percent or about three percent probability and 11 percent probability that it belongs to virginica so with a high probability we will say that most likely this point belongs to setosa now we are going to do the this is for one test point so i try to demonstrate how linear discriminant analysis in theory using one test point but most of the time you will see that your data will have many test points and you have to run it like a typical ML setup machine learning setup so I am going to take the IDs data set with uh, here is the IDs data set with all the 150 uh, values with 50 in each probability and then I'm going to first split the data into train and test okay split the data into train and test okay so I'm just I just split the data in the data table if you just say so basically in train data there were 33 setosa 32 was virginica and 35 versicolor so they are almost same so out of 150 samples i have taken 100 random samples from the main data and those samples belongs to train data sets 100 samples belongs to and uh, 50 samples belong to the test data set here in this I'm going to fit LDA linear discriminant analysis and I'm saying that okay fit all the models so maybe I will just say head uh, I wish so maybe first I will fit with the length plus sepal width maybe with petal length okay with two feature essentially with two feature this is my first model and if we just run this then we can do the same with the predictive class um, and then this is the result one and this is the confusion matrix essentially actually this is more like a confusion matrix so I would rather instead of result I would say it's a confusion matrix and let me just show you how the confusion matrix looks like okay there are two cases where virginica which were virginica that was classified as versicolor okay 
so this is the linear discriminant analysis with two feature now let me run the entire thing with maybe model 2 and what we can do and train uh, sorry um, Irish Irish so let me now just put the sepal width and petal width as well so all the features all four features let me put all the four features and let me do the prediction and out of the sample prediction remember that here is my test data set to do the prediction okay and then this is the confusion matrix so let us run this confusion matrix now it is being corrected so when we put the more feature naturally the classification becomes better so and it is in the out of the sample classification it got better so this shows that if you have more feature more typically it helps you but at the same time you have to be careful about the overfitting that if you put too many features too many engineered features it might you might end up in a wrong place with a lot of overfitting that means in your test accuracy and out of the sample accuracy and in sample accuracy will be very different at the same time remember that uh, you have to be this particular data set iris data set is actually a very toy data set going forward we will uh, try with more uh, real life new days data set new age data set where it will be much much difficult to classify the target variable with this thank you very much wish you a happy weekend see you in the next week with new lecture new topic thank you very much